Hey, hi guys. Um, let's see. I'm excited. Hey, I am super excited. Let's see. When ends a month, CD so. Okay. Okay, I'm sure my sister will be here in a few. However, I am here. How are you guys feeling? Oh, okay. Here's my sister. So, um, they go. Like so, how are you guys feeling? Please give me a wave. I mean, like I am here. Good morning. Oh, <laughs> Hi, Zandele. How are you? How I'm good, are and you? I'm good. Can, I'm, I'm can you hear me properly? Yes, yes, I can. Okay. okay. I can. Oh my God. How's everything? I'm good, hey? Just <laughs> yeah. locked down. I haven't been to work in the longest time. But yeah. When are yes. you planning to go back to work? We're going back on Monday. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. I'm glad we we're able to actually do this before it gets hectic and then now you have to like drive back to work and yeah. End. Okay. Okay. Um just uh for an intro guys, remember this is the Fearless Friday episode or rather an IG live. And just remember with this type of conversation, we didn't really plan much, but then it's just meant to empower you as a student, empower you as a trainee so yeah. um if you want to ask any questions at all whilst we are going through this please feel free to do that uh because this is why we are actually doing this so <laughs> <laughs> let's start so matsidi so before i say anything really um is there a way that you'd like to introduce yourself to everyone yes um mm. As you've said, I am Matsidi Sosekaku. Um, I'm a Bloom girl, born and bred in Bloom. I studied here, primary school, high school, I went to Bloom. Um, varsity, I also studied in Bloom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I also studied here at the University of the Free State. And um, yeah, I'm basically, I don't know if people want to know more, we'll talk about it as the conversation okay. goes. Yeah, I'm basically the second child of four. Mm -hmm. yeah that's that's briefly all that i can give now yeah 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 okay okay so um let's start with why 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 did you decide that um you want to become a child accountant and how did you even find out about this dream okay this this is quite interesting I'll, then i'll give more about my background <laughs> i actually went to primary school in a township school right mm -hmm. so when i was in primary i actually wanted to be like a teacher or a public speaker something like you know because i talk quite a lot so i thought like i could do something where i could talk every day and add value basically yeah so in primary i was just that person but then when i moved to high school that's when i fell in love with economics like economic management sciences you know in grade eight you do those emas all of those so then in primary in high school that's when i did that Mm. And then I fell in love with the subject. I was like, oh, th there's just something about the subject. But I just knew I didn't like science. So yeah. science was never, it was never like an option. I never wanted to be your nurse or a doctor, nothing like that. Mm. But then now when I moved to high school, I moved to like a high school in town. So the adjustment was quite, you know, it was quite big. Mm. Because now I didn't know anyone literally. Mm -hmm. I was just the only person there but my main thing was moving to a school in town or rather moving to high school because i didn't know anyone there mm -hmm. my main thing was that i wanted to choose the right friends because for me that's that's a big thing and we take that for granted that you are 80 percent the people you hang out with yeah. honestly that's just the way life is you know so then i was really i was really struggling in grade eight i was struggling to find the right friends and i hung out with people yes but i was like mm. They're cool, but they're not, these are not my people. Like, I needed, like, nerds type of people. <laughs> <laughs> so those people were, they were cool, but they were not my, my squad. Yes. And then I was fortunate when I moved to grade eight, to grade nine, that's when I met my best friend, who's now also a CA. Mm -hmm. So then we clicked, like, literally, we clicked 
from from that time and so we became friends and we still friends even now and mm-hmm. as the years went by we realized we actually love this accounting thing and we can actually pursue it but we didn't know we wanted to be CAs mm-hmm. i i didn't know it, but i knew i wanted to be an accountant but i didn't mm-hmm. know you know i thought oh it there's something called bookkeeping i it, it has something to do with numbers maybe i can do that you know mm-hmm. but then now as the years went by we started going to career fairs you know those things in grade 11 grade mm-hmm. 12 and then that's when we realized oh there's actually you can actually become a ca and that's when my love started for it and then i put in more effort into accounting and then when we chose subjects because we had that option which i think is it's it was quite a fortunate case that you know in high school not many people get that chance to choose for themselves so we were able to choose and i chose those subjects and i was like i'm definitely going for the stream and that's how my love for it started and then it never stopped after yeah wow yeah. wow well, on that one i'm just going to stop you there where you said you said something very important where you said you were quite intentional when it came to yes. choosing your friends in high school right yes. so so what do you think the students who are currently in high school who know for sure that they are not hanging around with the right people yes. you know what would your advice be how how did you go about actually um getting this friend of which it it went so well cuz now you guys are like CAs and all this <laughs> but then uh, what would your advice be for like all the the high school students who you know who don't understand their circle at the moment yes i think the biggest thing is we struggle with choosing ourselves especially when you're in high school because peer pressure you're trying to impress anel you're trying to impress this person and that person i think for me i'm not really shy with cutting people off <laughs> so i think <laughs> i'm not <laughs> mm-hmm. i'm not like i i choose myself more than anything so i think mm-hmm. it's very important for people to choose themselves because if you choose yourself then whatever is not good for you you will be able to cut it off you know i think obviously with people's personalities it becomes difficult you know because some people are quite shy and you're trying to impress other people so it's like what if now people think i'm a bad person you know but at the end of the day you must do what is going to benefit you later on because mm-hmm. those people were cool people yes but they were just cool for the streets basically That's you know true. and yeah so at the end of the day you must say okay this is what i want mm. and what is what am i going to do to get me there you know mm-hmm. i i've read a quote that says that if you are doing something now that is not leading you to your goal stop it Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> you know, and we take that for granted so many times that you are picking up things, you know, you're picking up that friend, you're picking up that habit, you're picking up that activity. But when you look at it at the end of the day, you spend 8 hours on Instagram and it really mm-hmm. isn't doing much for you, you know, like how is it helping you get to your goal? It's yeah. fine, I'm not saying yeah. cut off things completely. But if you are doing something and it takes up so much of your time but it's not getting you to your end goal i mean is it really worth it yeah that's yeah. that that's actually a good point because you did say that it starts with choosing yourself and yes. i think what other people don't realize um cuz we are talking about this whole ca stream and we identify channel accountants as leaders and yes. we all have to realize that with leadership it starts with self leadership and yes self leadership starts with self awareness and actually being at that point where you can actually choose yourself, yourself. and be able to make such decisions at a, at an early stage so i really 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 love that um so i see that where you actually learned about this um accounting was at like career fair days when you're going yes. with your friend um but then let's just before we get to like varsity and all of that let's just you know take a step back right when it comes to like the people you are around other than your friends when it comes to your yes. family how yes. did that influence your decision to actually go into the stream well actually my mom is also like into numbers and my older sister did accounting as well mm-hmm. so it's like i was exposed exposed to it at home already so it mm-hmm. wasn't like a, for me it wasn't like a foreign concept okay. it's just that the the ca route specifically was the one way I learned about it at career phase but like your accounting necessarily it wasn't like a 
foreign concept. It wasn't like, oh, what do you want? Who's going to help you with homework? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, no, we, I wasn't in that type of situation. So was your mom an accountant or how? how, how yes, your... basically. A, a, oh, okay. She, okay. Yes, she works in government, yes. Oh, that's great. That, yes. That's actually great. That, that is actually great. Okay, so now you get to matric and obviously you aced it. Like, we don't even yes. have to. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to wonder. Obviously, you aced it. And I like the comment that we got here. Um, there's someone who said, Who you've always been confident. Yeah, Kinna said, <laughs> You've always been confident, though. So I like oh, wow, that. Thank you. Matri, so people see that you've always been confident. And obviously, we do need leaders like you. Okay. Thank so you. now, obviously, you aced your metric. And, and yes. for most people, uh, I know on this platform, we have people who are already at varsity. So you guys know how it goes. Like most of the times, the accounting students are those students. And then you have the students who just had enough points to get in, right? Just yes. remember that when we are talking about this, we will be addressing, uh, you know, different aspects. It's not all about, yes. you know, if you're an A student um, or all of that. So you've aced your metric. Everything yes. went well. You get yes. varsity. <laughs> So when it comes to varsity, what would you say were your highs and lows? Um, and which university? You said you went to UFs, right? University of the Free State, yes. 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 So I did my undergrad ne, at the University of... Like I did everything at the University of the Free State. So I did my undergrad in 2011. So I did my BCom accounting. I didn't do... UFs has B accounting and BCom. So I did the BCom accounting degree. Yes. My undergrad went well, like, you know what, record time, I was done. Ooh. And then, ooh, <laughs> and then life came. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, when you do become accounting, you're going to do like an additional year before you do CTA. Oh, right? like BCTA. Yes. Okay. So I did that in 2014, right? So when I did that in 2014, honestly, I, I don't even want to lie about this. In 2014, I was so excited about life. Like, you know what? People said varsity is difficult. They were lying. I was cruising. <laughs> Suddenly, I was living my best life. <laughs> I, and it was the first time we used these IFRS books. Mm. So for me, it's like, I don't even know what's going on here. Like, you, you get into an exam, it's an open book, but the open book is difficult. Is this even true? <laughs> so I was struggling. I yes. was. And the problem is that even though I was struggling, I wasn't really putting in effort into saying, how can I, like, how can I manage this better? How can mm. I try to pass? Mm. And I think sometimes that's a problem with when people fail. You must sit down and say, but this time I failed because of myself. I didn't fail because of an outside force. You know, you, we must sometimes when we fail, you mustn't blame other people, you know? And I think I was in that situation where, I failed, you know, at the end of the year, I failed and I, I failed management accounting and financial accounting. Mm. I was like, what? Remember, I've never failed in my life. Yeah. I've never. So now I fail for the first time mm. ever. Yo, I've never been so shocked. Like, what do you, what do you do in fail? I, I was in that position. I was like, okay, but I was ready to go work because I was like, I imagine me repeating a class. <laughs> I'm going to work. <laughs> like, I was like, I'm going to work. I'm going to go work. You know what? I'm not going to go repeat a class. But then as I sat down and I thought about it, I was like, but I'm so young. Like, why should I, what, what's forcing me to go now to give up? Because this, what I'm doing now is just giving up. Why am I trying to get into that space of saying, I want to give up? You know, I thought about it for a long time. And then eventually I went back. I went back. And remember now I'm going back. I lost my bursary. So now I don't even have funding. But then my Actually, mother was like, no. On that point, on that point, yes. before we move forward, I wanted to ask you, when you started yes. your undergrad, who was funding you? And how did you find, how did you find about that uh, particular bursar? Well, actually, for me, I applied for, was it Old Mutual? Okay. I applied for Old Mutual, I applied for EPSA, and I applied for a government pursuit. Mm -hmm. So then the Old Mutual one was like, ah, you applied too late, you're not taking me. EPSA just rejected me. They were like, no, girl, bye. They, they just didn't take me. And then I got the government one, and I was like, what? You know, so I was fortunate. Then I got a bursary for, like, for undergrad. And even when mm -hmm. I did my BCom honors, I... Yes, I got my 
I they funded me. But then when you fail, then they don't. Obviously, they're just like bye. I <laughs> go <laughs> bye. We're not we we're not paying for this again. <laughs> and sometimes that's the sad thing about failing is that now it it has financial implications. You know, and that's just the unfortunate part about life. Yes. And before we move on to like what you did after you failed, um, you said something. You you actually said um. In as much as you were in denial that you failed, you told yourself, you know, I'm still young. I can go back. Yes, yes. Then there's this reality that there are other people, probably who started with other subjects and now maybe they're in like their thirties and they still have the CA dream and they yes. they are not at that point whereby they can say, I'm young. Is it really, you know, is it really worth it? So, so um, what would you say to the people who? like who don't feel like they don't have the time uh, yes. uh for this thing but they still see the dream for themselves and they keep on failing what what would you say to them you know that and then i like social media so yesterday i was on social media like trying to find motivational things and i read this thing that says if you are 30 today and you want to take a course but then you don't take it because you feel like, no, by the time I finish it, I'll be 35. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't take the course, five years from now, you'll still be 35. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like You know, that. and that's just that. the honest truth about life. It's fine. You know, but honestly, emotionally, it is quite tiring. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even want to lie about it. Because you look at other people, you look at your peers, you're like, but I studied with Zanella. So Zanella is already a CA, but I'm still... I'm still trying. It doesn't even matter, you know, because mm -hmm. I remember when I was failing ITC and all of that, someone said to me, even if you write ITC six times, you go back to CTA and you come back, when you qualify on your certificate, it will never write, wrote ITC 50 times. Never. You will be a CA like everyone else, you know, and I think that stayed with me. That pushed me all the time to say that, you know what? Yes, I'm, I'm getting a bit old, but I'm still young. But when I qualify, it won't even matter. Yes. yes you know, so I think people shouldn't give up on their dream and they should think about that. The fact that when, even if uh, you become a CA at 50 or whatever age, when you qualify, we are all in the same boat. That's true. That's true. I always encourage students that, you know, whenever you go to LinkedIn and you see people with like CASA, CSA, CSA, I'm like, whenever you see those people, do you ever stop and wonder, did they write... You know, APC 20 times, did they write never. APC 100 times? Did they do CT and go back to the... You never wonder, that, like, all you... You never. You just care about the four letters, and that's where it ends. And that's, that's where, where, you know, and that's what it matters. opportunities, that's, that's what matters. That's yes. what matters. So I really like that. And I like the fact that um, you also emphasize, you know, own race, own pace. Yes, um, Who's counting? Who, 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 who's really okay. counting? <laughs> Who cares? Okay, so that's, that's, that's great. So you went back. You went back. Yes. Let, let's pick it up when you went back after failing BCTA. Yes, when I went back, the nice thing about that is that I didn't have to do all four modules like oh. with CTA. Yes, because yes. with CTA, you fail one, you must do all four. Mm -hmm. So I didn't I, and I was like, because now I don't have a bursary, it would be quite selfish of me to do all four because it's quite expensive to go, like, to pay for yourself. So I was like, I'll just do the ones that I failed. And the ones that I passed, I will do them on a personal time basis type of thing. So that, you know, with tax, tax changes and all of that. So you don't want to, like, be stuck on old legislation. So now I just went back. I did the modules that I failed and I was consulting like nobody's business. Those lecturers, yeah. those lecturers knew my surname. They knew I had 10 figures. They knew everything about me. I was consulting I, like, I like nobody's that. business. I, I really like that. And I also want to stop you there because you said you went back, right? And when we yes. talk about this BCG, I just want to get charity because so many people ask me, um, if you want a bridge, like where do you go? So does UF uh, also provide a bridging course? The, the yes. one that we're doing. Okay, so yes. you did that with yes. UF. Yes. And then you said that when you went back, um, you were not working, right? Or were you Yes, working? I wasn't. I okay. wasn't working. So, so yes. how did you afford your own funding? Was it from your mother? Who was No, my mother was paying own? for okay. my fee. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. 
So, so now we are on consulting, and I like how almost everyone who comes here keeps on saying consult, 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 consult. Because how you, are you have to figure to. it out on your own. Like, how are you gonna figure it out on your own? And I like the fact that you said the lecturers knew your name. Because I know for sure when I was lecturing, I knew who is consulting. I knew yeah. where their areas, you know, areas of concern were, and I would even direct them to particular questions depending on their strengths and weaknesses. So, guys, you see another person saying consult, consult, consult. Like it, it doesn't just happen. Yes. Oh my god. Okay, let's take it. And the place. other thing, yes, and the other thing that I did when I was repeating was that I was doing a. They called it a post mortem. At mm. USS, mm. you know, I never took those things seriously. They've always been there, but I was, I was not doing that. And that thing is so important. You get your script, you got your forty percent, and you just like buy. You just like buy. I'll. You just move you. on. You, know? you just move on. Yes. Or oh, what you're doing is that because now you're trying to get to fifty, you are remarking to get marks. You're not actually going through your script to see that you know what this is the reason why I'm struggling and all of that. You know, like. It's so important when you get your script, and even when you get your fifty percent and your like your fifty fives and whatever, that doesn't mean that the other percentage doesn't matter. You must sit with your script, you know. So I started doing that. I I started doing an actual post mortem, you know, using different highlighters, and I don't even like highlighters, but that's how you do a post mortem. So I was sitting with those different highlighters, you know, doing a post mortem, going through my script, trying to figure out really. What am I doing wrong? You know, so that I can even go consult about my script, not to try to get marks, but to try to figure out. But then, if I did this, why is it that the memo says a different thing? And I, I need it. And the other thing I think some people get wrong in varsity is that they try to cram things. And the the one thing that you must learn to do is get the principle. I mean, if you get the principle. You you you're gonna run with it, you know. It will be difficult, yes. Obviously, we're not saying you will cruise through and whatever, but it will be different. So those are the things that I actually did differently. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the year, I actually passed and I qualified for CTA. I was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy. You know? Now now I'm starting to wonder if when you got to CTA, you were really happy to be in CTA. <laughs> I was so happy to be in CTA, Zane. Like, you know what? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> because I knew that, you know what? CTA is that place where, you know, you are this close. I mean, you are like really close. But then, I can be honest, with CTA, I think, because I felt CTA as well. Oh, my goodness. Both. Let me tell you, with CTA. <laughs> no. Hey, Zane, I failed. Yeah. <laughs> So when I got to CTA now, this was 2016, right? Mm. Now I didn't care whether I've been in varsity for 100 years or I'm old. Now I didn't Who care. I'm just, like, I'm just like, I'm in CTA, I'm within. So now with CTA, Zanella, you know teenage marks. That's what we used to call them with my friends. 18%. <laughs> we used to call them teenage marks. That's what we were getting in CTA. Yo like it was just fire and you know i think the big thing with cta is that you get into cta with so much fear you get into cta with so much fear and not fear that you instilled in you no fear from outside sources other people fear from outside sources and the sad thing about life in jay is that in general we usually don't fail because of ourselves we fail because of other people you know, you we know so many people who will tell you there's no way you're gonna pa you're gonna pass CTA first time. There's no way, and already you get into CTA with that mindset that no, there's no way I'm coming back next year. So these eighteen percent they are normal, and that is so it's wrong. But like you know, you are like, actually preaching. I, I hope everyone is listening to this because ah, uh, like like I. I Especially for like the second year, the third as everyone who hasn't done CTA, that like you just dropped a whole statement that can carry someone through, like literally, because it, it's really the mindset. You know how is. everyone is, is, is like, you'll never make it. Like everyone is just like, the men the, who there's get no way. from the boys will see who are the girls. <laughs> like, you know, like... It, like... <laughs> Suddenly, CTA first attempt, you know, even like you just hear people, people will just tell you, just know, first time, 
ah, there's no way. There's just no way. And I think because I had experience of failing, I, I think for me, I shouldn't have failed CTA. I shouldn't have. I, I, I strongly believe that. But because we listened so much to outside voices that you can, there's no way you can do it. Mm. There's no way. You end up believing that you are going to fail, that at the end of the year, you do fail. Yes. You do fail. And not because you're not a hard worker, not because you're not smart enough, not because you don't know the technique. No. But because if your mindset is in that place where you say, there's no way we're going to get those teenage marks and we are going to fail. My goodness, Zanel, we were living on those 18%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Like, that is, the thing is, I'm just like, I wonder if the people who are actually listening to this really understand it the way we do. And, and like, I, like if you're doing, if you, you haven't done your CTA, please comment and let us know if you understand what we're talking about, because, the mindset that you, you, you adopt when you get into CTA can either make or break you. Or break you. Because you really need to understand the power of your subconscious mind. The moment your subconscious mind is like, okay, this is home. CTA is home. We're going to stay here. You, it's going to be what? home. You will stay it's going to be home. It will be home. You keep and you, you will pay rent. <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, please comment and let me know if you understand that your mindset is key when it comes to CTA. Like, that, that, that is, wow. Like, I feel like we can even have, like, a moment of silence now. Where we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, yes, you repeat CTA and you violated the fact that it was mainly because of fear. And this is the fear yes. that is instilled by people. Yes. Like, you know, your Zanella is here on social media. Your Zanella is on, on like, campus being like Kemper, yes you know you you're gonna fail girl like you know come down don't worry where, you, you're where, gonna where, come where, back after, you know someone said after test one like you'll be getting these teenage marks and you'll be laughing because it's like it's a norm you're like oh it's this, normal this yes. is where you just fail and you become comfortable so i really like that and i'm worried that no one is commenting saying they understand <laughs> that mindset matters because the moment you understand this when you start CTA, really, ah, it's, it's, it's really going to do wonders for you. It's really going to yes. do wonders for you. Okay. Okay. So now this is your second attempt of CTA. So my second attempt, you know, when you live your life, like your, your life depends on CTA. Mm. That's how I lived now CTA. Mm -hmm. And with CTA, I, with my second attempt in 2017, I really didn't care about people. Like for me, if you say I'm going to fail, if you say... I'm just like, okay, that's, that's for you. Cause now I was stronger and I was wiser and I knew better, you know? So with my second attempt, I think even my friends, you, if you invite me anyway, I'm not coming. I'm, don't even invite me. I'm, I'm not, coming. I don't know you. I, you don't exist. So for me, my second attempt was that thing of, I'm just focusing on my CTA, all that I'm doing this year. I didn't even have a training contract. That's how I was just like, I don't even want to sign with anyone. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't even want to sign with anyone because I was just like, I just want to focus on getting CTA. This is what's more important for me now. And I made that choice every day. And I don't want to lie. I don't want to say when you're repeating CTA, you are now getting 70s and I was flourishing. I wasn't. I wasn't. There were times when I was struggling here and there because obviously last year, I mean, if you get 18%, you understand your knowledge is still quite far. You know, mm. so when I was repeating, there were times where you get a 45 because, you know, you're still struggling here and there. But I, I didn't sit back and say, mm, 45 is a bit better than last year. No, last year never existed. Last year is, is a rumor. It never existed. So what I did was that I was just focused on the present. Like my present is I need to pass the CTA. And now I'm back to my consulting game. Hey, I didn't play. I was consulting like nobody's business and I was attending classes mm -hmm. like, and my friends and I, there, there was a couple of us who were repeating and we told ourselves, if we miss class, it would be because we are giving birth. You don't, you don't miss class. <laughs> <laughs> you do not miss class. <laughs> if you have flu and you are dying, you will die in that class. We are not missing class because there's so much value in going to class that we take it for granted you know it's not the same as when zaniel explains it to you the way a lecturer would explain to you in class it's not the same as the way a friend would explain or that's that thing true. of saying please take notes for me 
you know, the notes, that person's notes will have nothing. They will just be blank. And you don't even know this slide. You don't even know it goes with that one. You have no idea, mm. you know, and you're trying to do self-study and with CTA, don't do it. Don't, don't even try to do self-study. You know, you know what? You're not at that level. Don't, mm. <laughs> don't do it. So we attended classes and we made sure that we consulted like our only priority our only priority was literally cta mm. it was if you attend a function it's a cta function yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know i i i actually i actually like that and um like i'm sure even for people who have done cta like in order for you to actually pass cta like this is like a year of sacrifice like yes. within all of these years that is actually i think that's why people uh have this fear around it because they are not ready to sacrifice yes. and cta is that you know is that year whereby you you just you just can't re you can't multitask with so many other things like mm. it, it's a year where everyone is like are, are you ready for this you know yes. like it's, this is where you actually like pay everything that is due and now you're not only paying it with fees you're paying it with sweat with your with time everything. with your emotions with, with everything like it requires um, and uh, i actually like that because even for me when i attended cta like no birthdays weddings Nothing. Like, i didn't even <laughs> go to my cta ball because it was before the exams and i was like yes you know what yes i am celebrating this but what if i have to celebrate being here again next year so i'd rather That's not go problem. there <laughs> i'd rather sit and study so so wow like i really like the fact that um highlighting that this is a year of sacrifice and consulting guys consulting consulting mm. i like how you said um you'll only miss a class if you are giving birth like I the only time like that. <laughs> i was thinking if i haven't died like you know that's the only reason that i shouldn't be in class because i'm yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> if i'm not dead then you know why am i not making this happen? exactly so, so this is great and and this shows that obviously after this year you you actually passed after after 2017 yes. you passed your cta yes i did awesome. but i still struggled with my biggest enemy i think that's why i even got a sub for it men egg zanelle who created men egg mar yes yeah the men egg especially costing yo i struggled with costing like nobody's business i struggled with costing and then when the results came out i passed everything but um men egg so i was like what do i do now i went back to the lecturer cuz like this lecturer now knew me he knew that i was struggling with men egg mm -hmm. and then i said to him he's like we're not going to do financial management you're not struggling with that mm -hmm. he's like you we're going to sit with costing he's like you must know principles i'm like i'm already struggling with this you are telling me high level we we must, can we start from scratch <laughs> my life depends on this city mm, mm. <laughs> my life depends on it so we i literally sat in the lecturer's office from scratch i was doing men act as though i've never done it before you know and then i prepped i prepped for the sub and then i passed mm. then i passed i was the happiest person on earth then i had the freedom of choosing a training contract and i think that's why I didn't want to have a training contract. I wanted the feeling of saying I want to choose. You know, mm. I I want to just go look for a training contract without stressing about like CTA and all of that. And when I passed, I was like, okay, what 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 do I want now? What do I want to do? What do I want for my future? And that's when I choose the Auditor General because that's where I work now. Mm. How, how did yes. you come to um cuz this this weekend actually tomorrow I'm filming a video um advising trainees on how they can get yes. fm so from from your side how did you how did you choose um aga agsa basically in 20 2016 eh, when i was doing my cta for the first time mm. that time i had a training contract mm. i was so excited then i was going to move to pretoria you know what my life was like I was yeah the the firm even sent us jerseys you know what <laughs> <laughs> the firm even sent us jerseys then when i failed they ditched me like nobody's business <laughs> they were like go bye <laughs> <laughs> i was like wow okay. can't you what life is this so then from there i, I was just like you ditched me one of my the big four 
Yes. Okay. And I was like, you just me at my weakest. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So I was like, whatever. Then I left uh, that firm. I was like, Ugh, whatever. I I will do my own thing. Look at this girl saying you loved that hoodie. <laughs> Nande, you so shady, Nande. Oh my God, I can't So I, you know what? I don't even know where it is. <laughs> so in 2017, I was like, I'm not signing because these firms you sign next thing and then they next thing they take that hoodie. Wood, exactly. Be like, is the hoodie still new? You wanna <laughs> give it to someone else? But please, the hoodie. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so i was like you know what whatever so then what i did was that now i was always like on the internet checking what do i want to do what do i what do i love actually you know and i i strongly believe that i actually failed in 2016 for a reason because now when i look back and i look at the 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 stuff i've done and the people i've met at work who have influenced my life positively i'm like i'm actually at the the place I was meant to be at, you know? Mm -hmm. So then I started looking on the internet, like, what does this firm do? What does this one do? And then all of that. And then I had a couple of friends already from the Auditor General. And then I was like, okay, what do you do? You know, who do, who do you audit? What, what, what type of work do you do? And I realized what, I can actually audit and see what my other does at work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I can actually do this. So then I chose the firm that, um, that I'm with now. Mm. So, yeah. so, um, so when it came to like your research, did you know? Yes. I would you say you were comfortable with all the 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 like the streams that are there? Like there's comments, there's your public, there's your audit. You know, like would you say you were comfortable with everything that is available there? And um, how like how did you figure it out? Was it because they always came to you as? Um, how how did you get to the point where you knew that there were options out there for you? Um, actually, we, when we had CTA functions, mm. like the firms would sponsor them, so they would come and they would mm -hmm. tell yes, mm. and then they would tell you actually this is where you can look at us, you can check us mm -hmm. on the internet and all of that. So that's how I I got to know more about them. Mm. But I th I don't think anyone tells anyone the truth about audit. No one explains audit to anyone. No one explains audit then, to anyone then because explain it to the kids, but did so explain audit it to is, the kids? The kids you know that what? are not here. Please audit is, please in, audit is in, them. Audit is intense. Mm. Audit is like even the hours, you know, you put in so much of your personal time into audit that it's just that no one ever talks about it you know it's just uh it's just glamorous i think there when you see partners when you see your senior managers and whatever when they come career days and whatever you're like oh i also want to be there i want to be here at auditor general They'll i want to be wearing the same colors yes you're like i want to be at this big four firm you're just like on that vibe type of thing and then you realize audit is lit <laughs> It's very stressful, you know. I don't want to lie. It's quite stressful. So, Ish, I think when you choose your firm, just be like, you know what? I really want to do audit or I really want to do... But I don't think anyone can explain audit to you. I think when you get in, that's when you see that, hey, but most it's going down, most yeah. Like, mm. you know, mm. it's fire, but... And all that one... It, it, I just wanted sorry. to ask, sorry, um, did you do any vacation work during your undergrad and postgrad? No, 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 I didn't do. I think in 20, was it 2012, my okay. friend and I were going to do vacation work, but that's the year my father passed away. So I oh, didn't end up oh, yeah, doing sorry. it. So I, I never, I never did it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I like the fact that you said you should talk to people. And, yes. and, and hopefully you'll find someone who will be honest enough because yes. I know like for people who actually DM me, I am like entirely honest um, yes. because obviously in such a platform, um, different firms do things differently. I can't come here and be like in order, you know, it's always like this or people yeah. always do this. But then obviously when it comes to the hours, we know um, the things that you just mentioned, we know, but then they're like those teeny tiny specifics 
that usually you'll only find out when you get there and yes. it's only through asking so that's why whenever people ask me in my dm as well i try to send them voice notes that you know look out for this look out for that look out for that and this is how you can better prepare for this so so i really really um like that so okay now you have a training contract now you are at agsa where yes. you actually you know you feel like you know this is a place where you are meant to be yes um, the thing is before we even move to like itc and stuff when it comes to ag because i have so many people who ask me like you know zanella what's the perception of like the public sector do you really do think do i would i have any opportunities after that like um you know like just from your perspective why why did you feel like this is because most people feel like you know before is the only way like this is the only way and this is the only thing that will actually provide more opportunities for me but yes. then for you from your perspective um w- when it comes to what attracted you to ag is it still what will potentially retain you to ag and do you feel comfortable about how the future looks like in the public sector i do actually awesome. i do awesome. because awesome. yes i do because you know the the one thing because i've had this conversation with my training officer and when he told me he's like at the end of the day audit is audit mm. the difference is that obviously other people are doing more clients than you because like we don't do a lot of clients in a year but at the end of the day i mean audit is audit because i've mm-hmm. spoken to quite a lot of people as well from the private sector about um what type of audit work do they do and even when they do um ag work with us you actually realize that we actually Thanks, all doing we just doing procedures mm. you know it'll just be that thing of maybe sometimes a firm will look for someone and they will say can we get someone who's done manufacturing can we get mm. someone mm. yes but then in that sense it's you know and people used to say that no when you go to um when you do public sector audits you can't do secondment and whatever but i was shocked because i know a lot of people yes, i know a lot well. of people yeah. who are now in the uk who who are in second who've done you know audits in overseas and whatever and i'm just like i think people just don't have enough background and enough information and i think you should also talk to the right people mm. you know it's cuz mm. i know people and that's why i was comfortable and i'm still comfortable with um auditor general it's because i know people who who have been signed off by the ag and they overseas now you yeah. know so uh. i think it's that thing of it's just that when you are in varsity the lectures come from private sector and that's all they talk about ah mm. uh, i like that you know i like how we keep on going back to um where are you getting your information like it's really yeah. important because because zanella will come and tell you about this specific one um okay and in that sense i mean a general zanella i don't mean the content that i do yes. that is well informed <laughs> <laughs> but anyway i just mean any other person would tell you based on their own experiences and and yes. we have to remember like um just a general life lesson um when it comes to people like we are all the center of our own universes so we only take on from that center going outward yes so people would would always gravitate towards they know and what they believe and what drove their fears and what made them feel comfortable so most of the times it's few people who would give you like a well rounded answer that would be like consider this because of this consider this because of that yes. or maybe i don't know this like yes. I, the other time there's someone who actually sent me a message and they were like you know zanella the other time i asked you something and you you were actually like you know what i'm i'm not informed in this subject mm. but ask this person because yes. sometimes especially when it comes to rca we we want to know everything everything like, like mm. who i may need us so i can tell you about almost <laughs> everything so yes. so i like the fact that you highlighted that you know where you get your information matters um and the other thing is that i i like this one you said it's really all about what you offer because yes. now people are focusing on the public side of it they're not focusing on the fact that it's still audit like we still have to in the eyes of yes this pf pfma and all of that but then it's still audit and what i realized is that even cuz i also i was in private but then i would also be contracted to ag the only thing yeah. that was different is that the sample sizes were bigger yeah but then other than that <laughs> other than the sample sizes being bigger everything was the same like literally yeah. everything so so i really like that 
Okay. So now we are at um we are at uh, AG. So what I'm going to yes. do guys is that I'm going to start a second video because I see we are left with like 10 minutes before this one cuts cuts us off and I don't want us to talk about the important things and then we just get cut off. So um what I'm going to do is that now we just spoke about like Matsidiso's background because if you just joined we spoke about Matsidiso's background, you know, from high school up until, you know, her second attempt with CTA doing BCTA and all of that. So obviously you can get that information on this video. But then we're going to start the second video where we'll be talking about what everyone wants to know about ITC, which is ITC, because <laughs> people are preparing for ITC now. Yes. Um, so we are going to start the next video where now we'll be focusing on um, with these multiple attempts. What was Matsiriso doing? And you know, like finally, what 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 finally worked after several attempts for ITC? So I'm just gonna stop uh, stop this and save it onto my stories. And please join me for the next one because it's literally going to take a minute. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, Thank guys, you. See you on the other side. Okay, and... Okay, guys, so this is the second um, session of um, Fearless Friday with Mati Diso Setaku. Um, I'm really excited because... The first part, wow, we've already covered so many things only on the first part. So now Matisse will be coming back and now we'll be talking about ITC because everyone is, you know, everyone is preparing for this ITC. And I really do think Matisse will have information that will actually help you guys when it comes to your preparation. Because obviously she's done this a number of times. And uh, let's see, let's see if we can get Matsuriso here. Okay, she's not yet here. But I am sure she will be here soon. Okay, okay, here she is. They, they go live. And we're connecting. Yay! Yes. Okay. Okay. This is the second session. I've already introduced the second session. So um, for everyone else who just joined, um, we just spoke about everything up until um, second attempt of CTA and how Matsidiso got to actually train with the firm that she's actually training with. Um, but then now we're going to talk about ITC. And in yes. us talking about this, for people who haven't watched the other one, just remember, Matisse did undergrad in record time, like, girl, undergrad <laughs> in record time. And then she did, like, your BCTA, which is, like, a bridging course before CTA. And then after that, she actually attempted CTA twice, right? Yes. So now we want to know how all of this, all of this experience, because she realized that consulting was helping. She realized that um, actually going to class was helping. But then now we have ITC. We're now, yes, there is class, but there's board calls for, you know, for that period. Week, and then now yeah. you, are alone, you have to do certain things. Um, there's still consultation, but then sometimes it's actually in December and you're at home. How do you deal with that? So, Matsiriso, when it comes to ITC, <laughs> take us through this. Take us through this. Take us through Wherever you are started, just take us through it. So then, um, 2017, when I passed IT, um, CTA, then we had the board course in December, that one week thing. Honestly, can I just be honest? In December, I was not even studying. You know what? <laughs> like, it's so important to not take your time for granted. Mm -hmm. You always think you have tomorrow. But can I just tell you, you don't have tomorrow. So we, like, in December, I was just, you know what, January, I looked at the dates, okay, 24th, 25th, they are, do you want to tell me I can't stay in 25 days? December, I was like, I'll see this. I did the board course, you know, and I, I just want to be honest, I wasn't studying in December, and that mm -hmm. thing is so important, and we take it for granted, and I was mm -hmm. living my life, Christmas, you know, all of that. January came, Wow. <laughs> when January came, when I opened those blue files, I realized I don't have time. I don't have it. I don't have time. So now, because I don't have time, I didn't really plan properly. And I think we take that for granted when we write 
board exam we don't even plan you just like uh okay i passed cta so that means i can pass itc i mean um it i mean this is automatic you know and i i wasn't i wasn't planning i was more nervous than prepared because now i'm trying to touch these blue files i'm trying to touch my cta files every day i'm just overwhelmed the exam came and i think the other thing is because you obviously don't pay for your first attempt so it's like you know you don't even feel the money he didn't even <laughs> and you are you're so excited you're going to start working cuz this was like literally my first job mm -hmm. i had never really worked like full time you know I'm, the only job i've done is like marking <laughs> so <laughs> i'd never really worked so now i'm so excited now i'm going to start working you know So then I couldn't wait for this exam to pass. Like I was just like, can I just write this exam must go so I can get my salary. Like so that, you know what? You, know. you even get paid when you are busy there writing. <laughs> 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 you know in January, right? Mm -hmm. That salary you get for being on leave. So you're just excited and then see I ITC came first attempt I wrote and then when the results came out in March I didn't pass. I didn't pass and I didn't pass because of my own doing. Mm. I didn't. And you know what? You know <laughs> that I feel like that's like so important and people actually underestimate the the power of being honest with yourself yeah. because people will keep on being like I don't know what happened. I studied. I don't know what mm. happened. But then it's 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 important that you know like the moment you are honest with yourself and you know for sure like yes. you know for sure that I didn't study. I had the best time of my life in December and this is why this happened. Then you can yeah. you know you can move quickly towards uh preparing uh, for 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 the other attempt because you know that it's not because you didn't know the work but it's just because you didn't really uh prepare for it. Yes. And I also like the fact that you said we underestimate the planning of the yes. because you feel like okay I've gone through the whole of CTA then i can just bring it touch 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 day and then go right yes without a plan I, without a plan i i didn't have a plan yeah and i yeah. i don't even want to i was so excited yeah. i i was going to work so I was like i just see for who and i already heard that you know what you know you have like six chances i'm like ah guys six chances i <laughs> <laughs> and then much came results i didn't pass yo you know that we regret yo it hit yeah yeah okay. you know that's, like <laughs> even though you know you didn't study but that's yes. like, like you can you can never get used to the fact that i can't yeah. yo yeah. oh and psycho says we regret mm. Mm -hmm. and even as some people at work will already say if they send your sms at 4 you know you fail if they send it at 5 past 4 i'm like ah guys stop it <laughs> <laughs> so i i didn't pause you know yeah. and i was i'm starting sad. to wonder about this time thing because when i got my first one when i failed it was actually at 4 and then i passed like <laughs> it like kind of past 4 but anyway you're not going to try to like yeah no no no, no 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 <laughs> that's quite funny because i never thought about it yeah <laughs> but yeah <laughs> so then i didn't pass then i was sad I, like mm. obviously i i don't think anyone can say after failing i started making a plan and i was like i'm on it no mm. it hurts you know mm. it's it, failing is not nice because even if people can try to motivate you and they say failing does not define you i know it doesn't define me but it, that doesn't make it nice mm. you know so i didn't pass and then I was like okay now what what's next now then I realized okay but the firm can pay for me but I was like I'm going to pay it over mm. you know a period of time mm. I was like okay no I'll save money mm. but then I was like okay I'll pay for myself and those exams are quite expensive those exams okay <laughs> those exams are expensive mm. so I was like okay I'll pay for myself so then what I did I went to the for the June second attempt Mm. because that one is in june there was that program the uj program the tutuka yes. program yes. yes so now when you write your second attempt or as your attempts go further you don't get leave days so now i only had like 10 days mm. and now that course required like 33 days now i don't have days now what's mm. the plan now i must take unpaid leave for this you 
like i'm like okay now is it worth it Do you know i spoke to people people were like no i passed after going to that course i passed the course is like mm-hmm. worth it and but, whatever mm-hmm. so i was like you know what this is worth taking this is a risk mm-hmm. that's worth taking and you know at the ultra general in june that's like the peak of our pfma mm-hmm. audits so then i was like ish if i'm going to stay and not go to the course that means i'll be working throughout june and i won't really have time to study and you can't really study in 10 days mm. you know it's not enough for itc so i went for the course then i took my unpaid leave i was like it's fine it's like at the end of the day money is money you can get money back but like let's focus on the dream mm. and then i went i went to the course the course was fruitful i'm not even going to mm. lie about it and say no i failed because of the course no the course was fruitful and like they really give you good tips exam technique mm. all of that the course was good it's what you do during the time like what you do between classes cuz you have classes from i think we had classes from 12 until like 7 or 6 pm mm. so what you do from the morning until class time that is what can make you pass or fail and i think that's something that i only realized later on that you know what i was busy there in joburg sleeping i'll wake up in the morning cuz yeah i'm a morning person i wake up in the morning but then what did i do in the morning actually mm. now that i look back i'm like what what did i ever do that, those mm. mornings you know you go to class and when you sit in class you're like yeah this, this technique is quite good but what am i doing with that technique mm. are you practicing you know? cuz the lecturer already yes. knows it. they've already yes. applied it and yes. yeah 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 and then the the 33 days passed and then obviously now it's time to write itc again mm. now i'm battling between my mind because in all honestly as you go further with itc it's like there's a battle with your brain and mm-hmm. you know it's like that can i will i pass as i go further it, it's becoming more difficult mm-hmm. all of that you know mm-hmm. and then I I told myself okay I need to pass this one. I still remember that day the first day I went drove myself to the venue and I got stuck on the way. My car just died. <laughs> oh my, my car just died on on the way to go right. I feel like, like I would fail today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what did you do then? I told my brother to come rescue me. So then I I just took my brother's car and then I left. Mm. So then my friend is laughing because she remembers because <laughs> I was driving with her. But my car just got stuck. I went to go write. I'm already annoyed. As I was writing that exam, I'm like, "Wow, how am I failing?" I was failing as I was writing. Mm-hmm. I knew it. I was failing as I was writing. That exam was just like for me, it was just difficult. You know, like I I don't know if it was difficult or was I not really prepared mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. you know, or was was it my mindset because now I got stuck mm-hmm. on it. I don't know, you know. Mm-hmm. I was really battling with that exam and that was day 1. Mm. And then day 2 came. I I was a bit better day 2 and the exam passed and I'm like, you know what God, you saw I took 33 days. <laughs> you might just look out for me. I mean, I took and hey leave. I mean, come through for the yeah. <laughs> Actually, on that, on that before before we talk about what happened after that. I just want to take it a step um a step back and you did say that after you actually failed you know in march yeah. when you 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 got your results for the first attempt yes. you know you had all of these emotions like yes we can try to motivate you and everything but then you know you you had to deal with the fact that you know it happened yes. like i failed like you know when saka say they regret to inform you that yeah. you make it um it really had so what did you do what did you do to actually get o- not really get over those emotions but rather to deal and release those emotions what did you do i think the what i pray a lot mm-hmm. yeah i i pray a lot and i i try to meditate here and there mm-hmm. but i have like a very close supportive circle if i can put it like that mm-hmm. where i can vent out and say you know what mm-hmm. this feeling is not it's not the greatest feeling in the world and that mm-hmm. helped and i think i was not in denial you know mm-hmm. i was not i was not trying to blame saika or sanele mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. the board course people and mm-hmm. you know i was like 
you know what this this happened and mm. you know i was talking about it more often like what can and i was also asking other people like what should i do and i mm. oh, i knew other people who had written because there was this other girl who we were in varsity was like she was ahead of me and she mm. had failed itc quite a lot of times before she passed and i i also spoke to her a lot and i asked her like what did you do how did how did you deal with this and that also helped me and i think we must also fam- like familiarize our, ourselves with people who are in the same position as us mm-hmm. if i were to put it like that because mm-hmm. i feel they understand your situation better, better than some yes like if you did C- cta once there's nothing mm-hmm. wrong with you but mm-hmm. for you to explain to me how to deal with my cta second attempt it can it, it'll be quite challenging mm-hmm. you maybe you'll say to me work hard i'm going to be like what So you're saying I didn't work hard. <laughs> <laughs> you're saying I never worked well. <laughs> so it's like I yeah. think familiarize yourself with people mm-hmm. who are in a situ- in the same situation as yes. you. I think they yes. will be more helpful than someone who has never walked in your shoes. Yes. 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 I, I like that. I like that because um this also applies in life. Like it's weird how we usually seek for advice like from people who've never been where we we yes, are trying where to we've go to. like it's so weird like the other time actually i was sitting and thinking about it i was like like how do you ask someone something that they can't even like yes you are dreaming it's it far and, from and, and you understand it but then someone can't even think of it can't even think mm. of the possibility of that and how do you go on and implement whatever they say like like it, exactly it, they it, don't know it, what they're talking so about <laughs> it's, it's, it's so and we do that as humans it's it's just yeah. it's so weird um and the other thing is that uh you actually spoke about the fact that i like how it keeps on coming up that you are the type of person that realizes that this is a time for sacrifice and i'm willing to yeah. take it like this is the risk that i'm willing to take you actually told yourself okay i'll actually pay for it, for this And then you told yourself I'll take an unpa- unpaid leave because I know for sure that this podcast is going to actually help me. So yes. I really need to do this. And then the other thing when it comes to your emotions and knowing that you were with this uh particular fam, do you feel like in the space that you were in when it comes to your colleagues and everything, do you feel like um having other first years who've actually passed ITC did that do anything at all? Like did it um Did you, did you feel like you are alone or maybe there were many of you guys did you feel supported at work um or maybe did you feel like yes there's support but then now i feel like i'm not as competent because other people are are passing me yeah what were you thinking not necessarily because when i failed i wasn't the only one i think sometimes <laughs> that makes you feel better <laughs> <laughs> you're like show like, me i didn't see you on the email now yeah. <laughs> you know you know what's funny when i failed in my year there were two zanellas right the other okay. one was zanella tembe and i was zanella maduna but then because people in the firm only knew we were zanellas and i was like the outspoken one and the other one was quiet quiet that i was the one who passed <laughs> so people sent me text congratulations zanella congratulations i like <laughs> you know having to like respond and be like hi i'm not hey, it wasn't me ah <laughs> 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 oh, okay okay oh um, my goodness <laughs> and so, that, um yeah but yeah, so, what i was what i was trying to highlight is that i like the fact that you always recognize that this is the time where i need to sacrifice this is the time where i need to do this and you just act on it right And then yes. now when it comes to uh you actually attempting it in June I like the fact that you 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 actually uh noted that there's this battle like there's this battle with the mind like yes, yes. maybe you can be prepared technically but then your mind plays a huge role and this is something that keeps on coming up uh over and over again and you did say that um you, you didn't know like the first the first day didn't go well but you didn't know Was it because you got stuck and maybe that was yes. messing up with you or is it because really it was because of the paper so so yes let's 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 move on from that so then in the result came out in august yes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so in august we had even a work function those results those results are like were the worst so we had sorry we had a uh, a work function so now 
everyone is there like obviously people know um uh, results are coming out the training officer is there i'm like you this training officer knows my results and he's there <laughs> dancing <laughs> Oh. And you wonder if they're dancing because of other people or is it because of you? <laughs> Me. Like, but I had told myself three o'clock I'm leaving because I don't want to sit there at four o'clock with people and then what if I get bad news and then, you know. So I remember at that time I didn't even get an SMS for my second attempt, like for the results there. So at three o'clock I left. I'm like, I'm going to go do my nails. So as I was sitting there doing my nails, a lecture, because I was still close with this other lecturer at UFS, I marked the, her, her subject. So then the lecturer texted me, like after four, the half past four, the lecturer texted me like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, what is going on? Who died? <laughs> I, didn't get, I didn't get an SMS. Yeah. I'm like, who died? The lecturer is like, no, it, it didn't go well. Now I'm lost now. What, what didn't go well? Mm. No, you didn't pass. Yeah. What? I, again, unfa what about my unpaid leave? <laughs> I'm like, I go. Days. Ha! I'm like, what about my unpaid leave? Oh, who, like, who's gonna give me my money back? Like, mm. okay, let's talk. What about my unpaid leave, guys? Yo, that time I've never. That's the one time I felt like someone owed me. I'm like, I boy, why this can't happen again? Wow, and then I was so shocked. But then, funny enough, I wasn't as sad as the first attempt. Funny enough, mm. you know. And then later on, we got that result letter. You know, when you when you fail, I just you get the result letter with your mark. When I realized I got forty nine percent, I'm like, I see why I didn't, why I wasn't sad. Mm. And then I thought about it. I'm like, oh, and and then there was a girl that I know. We when when I was doing CTA first time, she was doing it second time. Mm. And I remember talking to her when she failed her first attempt because she did ITC twice. She got 49% as well. And I asked her, what, then what happened? Like, how does it work then? Mm. Can you call and battle this? Or she's mm. like, no, you can't do anything about it. Yeah. Because your paper goes through moderation. It, yeah. There's mm. no way. Like, mm. it's like that you failed. I'm mm. like, with a 49? I'm like, I'm my ancestors. These people sleep. Yes. <laughs> 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 Like, and you know, I'm forward, like, I'm mm. forward, like, so I'm like, so I failed. Mm. Wow. Monday, back to work, you know, people are still happy for the ones who passed. But, and yeah. I was, I was really confused. And I, I think that was the one period where I was just, now I don't know what's next. What do you do? Like, mm -hmm. I've done this twice already. Like, mm. what can be different? I mean, people said this course is a miracle. They said it changes lives. It's like some past that would place for miracles or something. But this thing didn't work, you know? Mm. So I didn't know what to do. So from August until October, that's when I didn't do anything, honestly. I wasn't mm. planning for ITC. My thing was like, I'm living my life and I'm just going to focus on work. Mm. like that's it i just want to be the best at work mm. that's all that i want to do you know and i'm never gonna miss work because now i don't even have study leave days mm. so when i go right in january for my third attempt i'm like i'm alone basically i don't have days mm. so my thing was that i do not miss work i i come to work every day like you know what so that I can accumulate my days and I worked mm -hmm. really hard so that when I asked the manager in, 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 in January, when mm -hmm. I asked managers that can I take some time off and whatever, you know, they can consider the mm -hmm. fact that, you know what, this person really put in mm -hmm. their effort into work and all of that. So from August until October, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't planning for ITC. I was like, let me just clear my head. Let me just mm -hmm. take it as it comes. Mm -hmm. And then November came. When November came, now I started planning my life again. Mm. Now I was like, you know what? I'm not paying that 6000 for nothing. Mm. I started planning my life. Yeah. So I spoke to my manager. They, they like, there's like cupboards at work. So I spoke to my manager. I'm like, I need your cupboard. <laughs> She's like, what are you going to do with my... I'm like, I'm going to study at the office. I can't be carrying interest books every day. Mm. So your mm -hmm. cupboard is my is my mm. suitcase basically so i unpacked this manager's uh cupboard i unpacked her cupboard all of <laughs> everything that she had i unpacked it <laughs> in fact i took my books to the office all of them i mm. packed them in her cupboard because i had a plan now mm. i had told myself december when it says one december it's me and my books i'm mm. not 
you know what this is we are doing CTA round two now mm, mm. yeah I, I had a plan so in December I started I started studying every day after work I think people at work already knew me as that girl who's just studying at the office every day after work you know what I was studying every day and it I was like difficult that. it was difficult you know because I've never done I didn't do my CTA through UNISA so mm -hmm. studying after work, I don't even want to lie. If you've never worked and studied, to do that is quite intense. Mm -hmm. So I was really struggling, you know, but I was like, it's fine. Let me struggle and I, I want to move forward. Mm -hmm. So I was studying, studying, studying. And then I realized that, you know what? I actually know the work, but what about exam technique? What is it that I'm missing? Because mm -hmm. sometimes you study, you study, you study, but then you see like, no, but I know this, man. I know this. Even when you look at your script, you're like, no, I knew that. Mm. When you look at the memory, you're like, mm. but I knew all of this. Why didn't mm. I write them down? But it's because your exam technique is quite mm. bad. So I was like, let me go to my training officer. Because I know that guy is like, he's really, he's really hands-on. He will mm -hmm. really help you. So I started stalking him. I, I did. I went, to, I went to his office. I didn't even make an appointment, Daniel. I went there, notebook, <laughs> sat in that guy's office. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was like in December, before everyone took leave. I went in his office. I camped in his office. I opened my book. I'm like, I'm tired of failing. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. That's just it. Like, mm -hmm. I don't even want to lie to you about it. I am here with failing. And I'm tired. Like, mm -hmm. 6,000 is a lot. I'm tired of paying this much money. Mm -hmm. He's like, so what do you want? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I want to pass. Mm. I'm like I want to pass and I heard from someone else that you helped them pass so you are going to do the same for me <laughs> <laughs> he's like oh wow he's, I'm like I, you are going to do the same for me mm. I said to that guy I'm like okay please help me mm. and he helped me mm. and I think it, that helped me to say put whatever on the side if they say that that's why I'm that type of person if they say Zanella can help you with something I'll take that risk if it doesn't work it's fine I'll try yeah. something else mm. but I'm going to take that risk mm. so I went to him and we sat with, in his office. I'm like, available hours, we will see you. I need mm -hmm. to pass now. So he helped me with every module, literally. He was asking mm -hmm. me, like, for instance, with a text question. He was asking, how do you answer a text question? Mm -hmm. And then I would just tell him, no, when they say this person is a resident, do they qualify for an interest exemption? I'm like, yes, they do. This is the amount. He's like, wow, I, I see why you are fake. <laughs> like, like mm, I see. I like I like you, you're not writing actually, like for people who actually don't understand like especially what I do for coaching of which that's basically what this guy was doing for you because yeah. other people don't understand it but 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 I really like how you just broke it down like simply that you really like sometimes you need that special attention where like yeah. someone is focusing on like how you're approaching things like your mindset on everything so so I really really do like that and before we go on further on what um this guy has done I just want to highlight the fact that like guys if you've been listening to this like Masilisa is like the most proactive person ever <laughs> and I like how once you have made a decision you stick with it and you put yes. all your faith in it because what happens is that other people obviously they become reactive they're not as pro proactive and then uh when they make decisions they still have doubts doubts so they'll be like I think Zanella can help me, but when they come to Zanella, it's like they still they're have not doubts, sure. like, mm, can Zanella really help me? And mm. in that way, obviously, it's not going to be helpful because whatever True. Zanella is going to um, suggest, you won't even implement it fully because you still have the doubts on that yes. approach. So I really like that. And I like how intentional you are. Like, oh my God. You <laughs> took the whole cupboard. You had a date. One December. You went to this, like, I... And, and I like how you keep on emphasizing a plan, a plan. Yes. Without a plan, where are we going? Where True. are we going? What, what are we going to do? And also um, identifying that, okay, these are the resources that I have and, and what else can I explore? You know, yes. I, I really love the fact that you actually, the intention plays a huge role and you just having that willingness to, 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 to be open to all the other suggestions is, is, is really, um, it's really great. Yes, you can continue. Yes, so then he really helped me. I, I don't want to, like, he knows as well, like, he helped. So we went, we did that for 
every subject literally mm -hmm. we did that for every subject and he told me he's like sometimes you don't even use all the resources that you have i know with board uh, board courses they have mock exams i had never done them mm -hmm. i had mm -hmm. never done those mock mm -hmm. exams and i'm like wow i actually paid for a board exam a board course but i didn't use their resources fully i was mm -hmm. a bit angry at myself but he's like you know what now this is the time to do that mm -hmm. so then he was like okay you can plan how you want to do the mock exams and whatever mm -hmm. and so what i did was that now cuz i stopped studying i think by the 24th 23rd of december i was mm -hmm. like okay i'm eat, i'm now living my christmas time mm -hmm. i'll see books 2nd of January I'm mm -hmm. back at that office. So now remember I don't have leave days. I only have my mm -hmm. holiday leave. And then I worked overtime for municipality audits. So my overtime I wanted it to be days so that I can take those days and like write with them in January and use them to write in January. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did then. And then in January from the 2nd of January I was at that office. I think even the admin people knew me. It's like I was back in Boston. the admin people the security guards <laughs> i like that they knew me every day i was at the office i was studying like nobody's business i took my days i'm like ish competencies yeah i i will see competencies mm. but then with us the nice thing is that january is not so busy then end of january beginning of february then it will get like yeah busy again mm -hmm. so january i was every day at the office and i'm a morning person so 7 a.m. i had a routine mm -hmm. literally mm -hmm. i had a routine mm -hmm. 7 a.m. 7 to 7 it was my thing but then some days i struggled cuz na zanela like i'm that tv person so i'm like ish now what about skin sam guys <laughs> <laughs> i need to know what mom pincha did like <laughs> ish <laughs> so now <laughs> now i was really struggling so ish 7 to 7 i was doing that every day but then i'm that person i don't i don't study on sundays i i will really battle with trying to study on sundays mm -hmm. so i study monday to saturday that's mm -hmm. that's just me my sunday i will rest i will maybe chill catch up on tv mm -hmm. like just try to clear my mind again but mm -hmm. that has always worked for me i've always done it yeah. so then monday to saturday i'd be doing the same thing mm -hmm. literally all the time mm -hmm. until exam time came and i think the biggest thing or the one thing that really helped me was when someone said to me write this exam as if like it's your first time mm. because i think we especially for people who when you attempted more and more you start thinking is can i really do it mm. will it be like june will it be like that january in 2018 will how will it change what if what if i get stuck again you know mm. you you always have those battles but that person said to me if you write it as though it's your first time you will not have these constant battles mm. in your mind mm. and i went into the exam so confident so mm. confident mm. like you know what i felt like you know no matter what happens i'm conquering that exam and I that was my mindset yes on that i like that but however i just want us to get back to where we where we saw that okay tv was actually a weakness and obviously in as much as 7 a.m. 7 p.m. you were going to the office um it doesn't mean that you were always productive at the same yes. rate every day yes. there were days yes. where you were like okay like i really don't want to go to the office or there were days yes. where you actually got to the office and then you had that thing of like i really don't want to study today i'm tired yes. i'm hungry i'm over this or maybe there are days where you drove there and now your personal matters maybe something that happened in the you know with your family or your friends something was usually happening right Okay. Mat oh okay, there it's back. Um you can hear me Matsidi so right? Is it fine? It's fine because yes, our yes. connection has been so great up until so far. So it can be all, you know. I don't know what's going on. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but no it, 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 it'll work. So so what did you do during the days where you really didn't feel like uh going to study um uh, during the days where you wanted to watch TV, you know, the whole night? <laughs> um during the days where you know you had other personal matters interfering like what did you do during those days i i think that one is quite difficult um because in in all aspects to study 6 days and say you are productive throughout it's also not practical it's also not practical yes so some days it will be that battle between your mind and you just like 
but I, I'm struggling to study today, you know? Mm-hmm. But then I think the other thing that helped is that when we were studying at the office, it wasn't just me. There were like other people. So mm-hmm. sometimes we would mm-hmm. take walks and then, mm-hmm. but I think that's why I avoided studying at home. I avoided sleeping <laughs> or mm-hmm. just saying, when I take a break, I'll watch TV because TV is quite addictive. Mm-hmm. You sit there for an hour. Next thing, there's six hours of nice things. Mm, so mm. I avoided going so on days when I really struggled I would really like just take a walk come back sometimes mm. be on my phone for a little while mm. or something like that but I you are right the there were days where I I was not as fully productive mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. other days yes <laughs> so I think that one is quite a battle. It depends from one yeah. day to but, the but next. I like that. Yes. Actually, your, the tips you gave here are, are actually quite key they are, the, it's the little things like what students don't realize is that is the little things that actually yeah. count towards what matters. Uh, for example, you did mention that Sundays you were not studying, you were resting. Yes. So many students don't want to take a break. And if you don't take a break, like you don't just run a whole marathon for like every day. Like it won't help you. It won't help. Mm. Yeah. So taking one day off, like I highly recommend this. Like I keep on saying like even God took, you know, a day for- Correct. Like, what yeah. about you? Like, yes, you know, you're not a you? machine. So, yes, so definitely taking one day to rest. I would also recommend it. And you did say that um, you would take breaks. Like, people don't understand the magic of taking a break. Like, yes, we all think, ah, oh, you know, you you'll be wasting time if you take a break. But then the energy that you're going to bring after taking that break, it's, 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 it's actually wow. And then the other thing is that when you take a break, it's really important for you to like go outside, like have the, the change of environment. Yes. Because um, if you're just within the same environment, your, your, your brain doesn't get stimulated. So, mm. so I like that as well because um, changing from like a room to like the sunlight, that does so much for your brain. Um, it does. So definitely taking breaks. And I like the fact that you said you were studying with other people. So that's also yes. a, a, a good tip. So if you're doing ITC, don't be an island. Like there's so many people who are repeating ITC or even when you're doing it for the first time, just don't be an island and wait for mm. ITC when they'll, you know, they'll force you to be in a group. In a group. Always study with other people. And I've seen that, especially with like uh, attempting exams. In your room alone, you'd be like, oh, okay, today I'm not going to do it under exams. Yes. But then if you and your friends are like, Saturday, we do exams, we all, you know, we all sit by 9 a.m., we start, we, we have the, 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 um, the time set. Like, that really does a lot. So that's a good it point does. as well. And, and the main thing around all of this is that you, you avoided being comfortable. That's why yes. you left home and you did everything at the office. So, so, so those are good tips. I know you're like, oh, it's challenging. I don't know what to say, but you actually gave us so much to work on. Um, okay. Okay. So, so yes, yes. And then you went on to actually attempt this one. Yes. So I, I still even remember the dates that I wrote on the 30th and the 31st of January. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is 2019, so- right? Yes, 2019, mm. last year. Mm. So then I wrote, and I, I feel like ITC changed. It, like, from the January 2018 to last year's um, January, mm. the direction is more, it's going towards APC. Like, they're asking mm. for your opinion mm. more, you know? And I like, the, yeah. the one thing that I, I, I took from my training officer that he said to me was that, you know what, the answers are in your scenario. I was like, no. I was like, no, there's no way. <laughs> it's like, I was like, no. He's like, when you do mock exams, just do one and come back to me. With, especially with, because I was telling him that though I was struggling with strategy questions. Like if they ask you, what would you do in a situation where this is a company, it's a company in Africa and they're trying to venture into this business. But then we, we know how Africa is, mm-hmm. viruses, mm-hmm. disease, poverty and all mm-hmm. of that. How would you tackle that? Like I asked him such questions like, yeah, what type, how do I go about answering such a strategy question? Mm. He's like, read the scenario. I'm like, uh-uh. Mm. Uh-uh. You're like, the no, scenario. I can come with it. Like, from I'm like, they said I'm hearing a... it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what like, I don't know. in the scenario. Yeah. Exactly. He's like, I'm like, no, but these people are asking me how you are saying a scenario. No, I don't understand. He's like, read the scenario. And he's like, the other problem is that with reading time, you read to just finish. You just like 30 minutes. You read. You're not even reading to understand. I was just like, I'm like, this guy, I, I'm still, <laughs> you know? 
And actually, when I did mock exams and I started doing this technique that he taught me that, you know what, Re do reading time as though you are writing an exam. Read, you know, with understanding and trying to get what the scenario is giving you. Take as much as you can from the scenario. You know, I was like, and he's like, when you read the required, read the scenario. I'm, I'm like, again, I don't even have the time to do this. Like, you do have the time. But you can only have that time if you plan for it. When you do your mock exams, you start planning for that. I'm like, okay. And then I, t I, I started doing this technique of it. And then I started getting how to do these strategy questions. And they, like, that technique really helped me. I, I, I really, like, I relate with this at so many levels because uh, for January 2019, I was yeah. marking ITC and I was actually marking the strategy question, the one on tell me more. Zanella, you make me fail. <laughs> 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 but, but what I can say is that I, I like the points that you're coming with, that um, it's more, you know, it's more about like the decision making and actually yeah. all your answers are there. Like all yes. your answers have already been given in the scenario. And I like the fact that you highlighted that you don't just read the scenario to finish. You read yeah. to understand, right? And when it comes to the point where you actually said, um, um, when it comes to you reading the scenario again, I know other people can be like, you know, what do you mean reading the scenario again? And I like how you actually um, combined it with the plan. Because what happens is that when you get your required and you have actually dissected your required, what you're going to do is that when you get back to the scenario, it's not like you're going to read as if though you're going through reading time. Yes. But then you're looking at yes. what is required and pertaining to that because you read to understand, you know, which section to get back into so that you can get like yes. your application type of answers that will lead you to what the matter yes. is. Anyone. Guys, there's that. Yes. Of people are listening. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like no one is expecting you to know your application as well. yes we expect you to actually understand the principles but then like you know where will you apply that like yes. i always tell like the itc students that when it comes to psycha it's like they're saying as a person who will be in corporate and all of this whenever you are working with a client like whenever you're working with a client and you encounter right? a client for the first time the client tells you the information like, are you going to listen to the client and try to formulate how you're going to help them? Or you listen to understand so that yes. by the time the client tells you the, 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 the issues, then you can actually get back to, you know, that particular section of what the client needed help with and actually provide them with what they wanted. Because now, as ITC candidates, students just want to, like, just read and finish and answer what mm. they, want to, <laughs> they want you to read. Mm. Like, they don't care what you said the issue was. So, so that is like super, super important. And I like the fact that um, during your varsity days, you were speaking about management accounting and how it has been an issue. And then now it's ITC yes. and we are highlighting strategy. And what is happening with Saika? Like that becomes the biggest portion that is being tested on your ITC. Mm. Like, like they're increasing it, they're increasing it. Why? Because that's where the world is going. Like going it is. the days of road learning where we expect you to like, you know, like, Tell us, you know, everything paragraph to paragraph on if it's like mm -hmm. one of those days. We want to be um, at a certain point whereby, in as much as a whole robot can can learn the whole standards, how how do we distinguish? Like, how do we get to a point whereby we can actually make decisions as leaders in business? So, yes. so I, I I really like how this is actually um it's actually making sense because because most of the time, like yesterday. Uh, we had a, a quiz on Nova Learning Center and most of the students are struggling with uh, your manic, your strategy. And, and, and that's the yeah. thing. Like if, if people can understand why, why are we here? Why are we at a point where like, there's so much emphasis on management accounting and strategy? And in because other people DM me and they're like, Zanella, with AI and everything, maybe I shouldn't mm. have studied this route. Maybe I should have gone to like IT. And I'm like, have you read no. the document on CA 2025? Like, yes. you know what we can achieve, though. And, and, and it's interesting how, actually, as I'm talking to you about this, like, just thinking about the fact that people who are worried about where the future is going and, you know, our career and the challenges that they are facing, what they are not realizing is that these challenges are actually preparing us for this future. Yes. But if we are out here 
begging people to ask us about questions that we can literally flip through the paper and just you know copy paste are we really being prepared are we for really the future like not. oh my gosh this this has ah i'm loving this conversation um, <laughs> this this is quite this is quite informative my city so this 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 is this is yeah this is great so yes um you 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 prepared so yes. so so when it came to like your third attempt what happened so then i wrote then i used i i don't want to lie he really helped my training officer really helped me so i used these techniques i you know what i was like i'm taking i'm taking the risk and it was something different something i'd never done so i took the risk and then i wrote and then after writing i was um sent to do an soe audit in pretoria actually in kempton park so mm -hmm. i did an audit there so now you can understand i'm away from all my loved ones i'm all alone there mm -hmm. <laughs> actually i was with a friend yes i was with a friend there because the two of us went to that audit so now 29th of march came results day then i that day i was not even concentrating i was just going through everything i was mm -hmm. on the psycho website checking countdown you know you know that countdown it's like 10 hours to go mm -hmm. i'm like yo this thing is me mm -hmm. and i'm thinking in my head now i'm doing an soe audit so if i fail i'm going to have to go back to bloom <laughs> like, there was just so much at risk mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. i i remember it was like 2 pm then I, like the manager allowed me to knock off because i i worked my 2 hours back during the week so mm -hmm. he was like no this is your day you can leave at 2 then and then at 2 i left I went to the mall. I remember I bought this other jumpsuit that I didn't even need. <laughs> I was so stressed. Mm -hmm. I was so stressed. So I went to the mall. I drove back and then I sat there because we stayed at some like uh, guest house, hotel, something like that for that audit. So I was sitting there. I'm like, okay, what what do I do next? I'm like, okay, it's almost three o'clock. I left again. I went to another mall. <laughs> Now, <laughs> no, as I got like literally just as I parked at that mall, it was four o'clock. Now I'm not getting that SMS. Oh my goodness! I'm thinking, what if that UFS lecturer texts me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wonder should I block her now? So like, <laughs> and then time went, time went, time went. I think at about quarter past or ten past four, so that's when I got my SMS. I don't think I've ever cried like that. I don't think I for anything in my life I I didn't even cry like that for APC. <laughs> like it was such a victorious time for me and mm -hmm. the first person literally that I called was my training officer because I was like this guy helped me but he wasn't answering his phone like mm -hmm. I was like it's fine so I just sent him an SMS and then I started calling you know my yeah. my people then it was like I I feel like he helped me so much with that exam mm -hmm. but then i also put in my effort with that you know i took a risk and i put in my effort and i literally i was like third wow. like my third attempt and for me it was a big thing because it was that thing of i need to write apc this year as well mm -hmm. you know because mm -hmm. it was now my second year mm -hmm. and and when i part, like that feeling it's feeling money can never it, it, like even it when someone buy. that feeling there's not even equal to a million rand right mm. i'm telling <laughs> it's like it's... that that is and i like how you know with these fearless fridays like it's like we didn't just come here and be like oh, and then i got to this day you know where yeah. i had this billion dollar feeling like yeah. we got to establish that you know it's been a journey like it's, yeah. it's been it's been a journey and and so many people who are actually preparing for june itc now Yes they are, they all want this feeling like this feeling yes. like you're talking about like they all wanted but um like I like the fact that you were open with your journey of like how it really got there and and yes. I just want to highlight again sacrifices sacrifices and I like how you had your 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 you know your whole class like you were just like you know like this is it like you didn't care who was doing what, what you know you just yeah. you just constantly tried to find who can help me and you constantly try to 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 get rid of being um you know too comfortable at a certain mm. stage like you you looked at what's working what's not working and then you you would pivot very quickly when something was not working so so i i just uh, like in as much as we can take so much time to like take in this you know this good vibes of like you know 
uh, really <laughs> passing that attempt but I, I i hope everyone who will be watching this because i know other people will be watching it on youtube as well Later. like i really do hope that they will take that from you that um it is a journey and mm. um if you do the same thing over and over again what like they define that as what hallucination and madness like you, you like will keep you on getting the same you thing you can't keep on doing the same thing and expecting different yes. results and and just being open to help like um and also like i like the fact that it highlights why i'm actually a coach and why i'm helping people with itc <laughs> because <laughs> i am literally like your training officer now cuz not everyone yes. can get your training officer so then now <laughs> I'm, i'm i'm actually extending such services and and yeah like wow like this this has been like um it's been a beautiful journey and um all i'm going to say is that when it comes to itc guys This is the only thing that I know. I know that Mercedes so passed APC first time and she's actually in her third year. So that means yes. by the end of this year, Mercedes will be registered with Cyta like I mean that left. <laughs> and then she has the four letters. That's yes. that's all. Like there's no exam stress, there's no I'm sure even competencies you have most of them like there isn't all the done. hours. You are just waiting for that time where you know early sign off the thing, right? We are out. So, yes. Yes. So I'm going to ask Matisse what her plans are but then what I'm going to say is that this video we just wanted to highlight the aspect of like you know the the, the ITC one because most people are writing ITC however if you are battling with APC and you are watching this um my, myself and Matisse have been working on something that can actually help you especially if you want to pass APC for the first time cuz you can see she's been through so much with CTA ITC but then when it came to APC first time you know she nailed it right so obviously yes. i'm also interested to know um you know how she did that um but uh, myself and matiso both passed apc for the first time and we are working on something so that if you are attempting apc for the first time we can actually advise you on that so yes. in this video we're not going to talk about that but keep your eyes on you know my stories and also follow matiso so she'll also be announcing something on that if you yes. are on the apc side and if you are here and you are writing in june and you also qualify to write apc again this is for you because we believe that mm. you can pass if you know you have the mindset and everything we spoke about we believe that you can move from that june one and actually pass november so also keep your eyes on that but then for now mercedes so what are the plans like in november when you like when you can sign off sign off early do you have plans do you feel like you are ready for the casa world what are you thinking my plans actually are to still stay with the auditor general but literally mm. for 2 to 3 years okay yes and then i would like to start like my own thing but we we talking about it with a group of friends but mm. it it's that thing of it needs planning and all of that because i don't think i want to i want to be in audit forever mm. the other day i was talking about um doing maybe um uh, lecturing cuz i have a passion for education and teaching and i think with my experience i have a lot to bring to the table you know yeah. and i think i can also do that as well so i have i uh, i've thought about it a lot that you know yeah. cuz it's not you know people usually think that and i was watching your live with monani as well that you know we think you're going to be a ca and wow hey comes a million and we here comes all these jobs what <laughs> <laughs> so with post articles you must have a plan you must mm. have cuz uh, the other thing I'm I'm quite close with my training officer I think that's why I talk about him a lot is that when I spoke about him after I passed APC he said to me he's like success is not is not success if you celebrating alone mm. and I asked him mm. like what do you mean he's like you know you get people who are CAs people who are doctors people who are engineers mm. but these people are depressed because mm. you knew how to get there but you didn't know what to do with what you got yes. you know yes cuz you qualify and then you just like so what mm. i'm here but mm. so what you know mm. so i think for me the the one thing i don't want to stop doing cuz i like this thing of giving back i like doing mm. like community projects and all of that mm. but i like doing things that are quite feasible as well so he told me as well that we want to be CAs yes but what do you do with that qualification after getting it are you celebrating alone is it just success alone 
are other people benefiting from it and if no one is really benefiting from it was it really worth it you know and it's things we don't think about so i think the one thing i don't want to stop doing is that thing of trying to give back here and there like if there's a educational something where you can be a tutor or whatever definitely i'm in it that's that's where i think i want my career to take direction to go usually we want to do things for money but is it really does it really make our soul happy not necessarily I- I I love that Masi so because um most of the times when I ask people why do you want to be a CA especially the ones in high school when I'm like okay why do you want to be a CA yeah. they be like ah oh, there's money there's all of this but then I like how you just people forget that when psycha advertises they they don't say be a CA and so much money no they say, <laughs> <laughs> they say you know like they say we lead they say we develop yes. they say we influence like yes. that's what that's what a ca is we lead yes. we influence we develop so it's not like you're going to get there and everyone is waiting for you to solve something on ifris 2 and ifris 16 mm. and then you solve that and then you get back home and then you start that all over again for 75 times and call it a life like you 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 don't do that like it's really all about how you going to use those you know yes. the four letters to actually impact people and i like impact. the fact that you have started now it's not like you like i'm waiting for the four letters so that i can impact life Mm-mm. like i know you've been doing so many things in your community of which it's it's like so great because obviously this is why we are here yes we are here so that we sit with our suits and then we can afford our christian lower tees and then we like oh, yeah. we're having a bmw so we can be and see it This is not why we here. We here to yeah. say okay, how can we help with the economy? How can we help with the people who are struggling? How can like we don't even have to wait up until we earn those billions mm. to do that because going through all of this like with our resilience, with everything that goes like we are equipped to actually be at a point where we like okay, this is where I'm at and these are the issues that we facing. Yes. How can I go forward? How how can how can I help the people you know the few people amongst me so that it can have a ripple effect and yes. i love the fact that you are already doing this and i love the fact that you like lecturing as well because also lecturing feels like home to me there's nothing <laughs> else that i feel like no, nothing can actually feel that for me um and guys um masidi so actually is in one way or another uh helping out on nokalo learning center you will yes. be finding out soon how because we share the same passion we really want to uh give back and and I'm excited I'm ex- I'm excited that actually we came across each other the power of social media wow um, <laughs> so so guys look out for what Matilisa will be doing because I like the fact that she's focusing on impact more than anything else and and that's why we are here really like like without that like why are we, why are we here as as leaders as 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 the CAs who are like you know I'm I'm actually excited to see what you will be doing in the future and obviously I'm more excited about what you'll be doing now with Nova yes. Learning Center. So guys, keep um keep, keep keep in touch with us and you'll see what's coming up. But then now um Tilly, so what are your parting words? I'm not going to summarize everything because we spoke about so yes. many things. So people will go back to the video and they'll see that there were so many lessons and I'm grateful for you. So what are your parting words and what advice would you give Uh, you know anyone who wants to anyone. start this journey anyone who's maybe repeating itc just yeah any parting words my parting words is that you should never never give up on your dream and you know i mean people are different and our journeys are different and this is literally not a race it's not a race between age it's not a race amongst your peers and you know your siblings or whoever it's your own personal journey and when it's your time it will take place and i think the one thing that maybe people should take from me is that you should not be afraid to take risks mm. but be wise in what type of risk you are trying to take i mean you're not going to just take a risk because this is another risk so you just taking you must take a risk and have a plan for that risk that you are taking you know and i leave people with my favorite quote i think this is like my utmost favorite quote is that opportunity luck is what happened sorry luck is what happens when opportunity meets hard work so basically there isn't anyone who's really 
lucky. I think we we always we always say that no Zanella is lucky. Zanella is overseas. You know this person is lucky. When Zanella shares her story, you will hear that luck bumped into Zanella or opportunity bumped into Zanella because Zanella was really putting in her effort. Zanella was working hard. You know, so people mustn't take away from themselves the fact that. before you do anything before you are smart before you are talented we see sometimes even with soccer players this person can be the best but then they lack discipline they lack hard work and therefore we just forget about them so it's important to never stop working hard oh my gosh that that's that's be- like obviously i have nothing to say after that <laughs> <laughs> that's everything <laughs> so wow this was beautiful i just want thank to say you, thank you thank you everyone who came through this morning and thank i know other people will watch this later cuz probably they are at work and everything else so even you watching this later on thank you for actually watching it and getting this far because i know you probably learned something much from matiso and i also learned yes. a lot and and yeah I, i'm grateful for you matiso and i thank can't wait you. for people to see what we plan for them on novalo learning center um, <laughs> Yeah cuz wow guys wow <laughs> So yeah okay guys enjoy the rest of your Friday and yes. the rest of your weekend Oh my god I really really love this and guys remember to follow Matidi so and you know just ask her questions comment yes. on this uh, on this video when it's actually on YouTube as well and we'll keep on interacting because all we want to do is just empower you Okay. Thank Bye. you, Zanile. Thank Bye. you. Thank you.